Hello and welcome back to Euro Football Daily, where today we found 10 players, some legends and some not, who should consider hanging up their boots this summer. 10. Sergio Ramos With Varane suffering in Manchester, it seems some players lose their powers at passport control, and Sergio Ramos has endured a curse spell at PSG, arriving injured and since missing 33 games with fitness issues, including two separate calf complaints. That means that as the season ends, he's played just 619 league minutes and not a second in the Champions League. The competition his experience was supposed to help PSG win. Of course, he hasn't lost it entirely. When he plays, he gets on the ball more than anyone else and completes an insane 11 final third entries a match, twice as many as the next best defender. But he no longer has the team built to a specification and so he's often out of position, managing fewer blocks than all other PSG defenders and committing 1.7 fouls a game more than Kimpembe and Marquinhos combined. That's a problem when he costs the club a reported 12.5 million euros a year, setting PSG back over 20,000 for every minute he's played in what will be their first season with only one piece of silverware since 2012-13, while former club Madrid are back in the Champions League final after a four-year absence. He'd be better off quitting now as an icon rather than diluting his legacy with another mediocre term in France. 9. Aaron Ramsey at just 31, Aaron Ramsey may seem an early shout for retirement. After all, the former Arsenal man has a chance at European silverware with lone club Rangers and still has a year left on his contract to Juventus when the season ends, a deal which nets him an insane £350,000 a week. So maybe Ramsey can hold off until 2023, but his decline from Premier League star to SPFL nobody has been dramatic. Just 14 minutes in Juventus' six group stage games in this season's Champions League is understandable, but since going to Rangers, he's played just two of their eight Europa League fixtures and appeared in under half their domestic games, meaning he's earned just 20% of the available game time in Glasgow. Warming the bench in Scotland doesn't bode well for his career at the top level, and given that he has made his name with his energy and dynamism, it's unsurprising the Welshman's time in the spotlight might be short-lived, with five injuries this season bringing him to a total of 15 since he left Arsenal three years ago. Sadly, Ramsey's talent was always let down by his lack of resilience, and his wages make it hard to imagine a home for him on exiting Turin. 8. Josip Ilicic It looks like gravity has finally caught up to Atalanta in 21-22. The Bergamo outfit are currently 11 points off the Champions League spots and outside contenders for even a Europa League berth. And part of the reason for that is the loss of Josip Ilicic, who's made just 8 starts for the club this season after averaging 18 goal involvements a year over the last 4 campaigns. The strike rate hasn't diminished with the Slovenian delivering 7 goals and assists in his meagre game time, but he hasn't played since January, reportedly suffering from depression after contracting Covid for a second time over the winter. Coupled with personal problems, it seems the 34-year-old is in a bad place, and with Ladea due for a rebuild in an increasingly competitive and high-stakes Serie A, now might be a good time for Ilicic to leave the pressures of professional football behind, instead focusing on his well-being and a life outside of the sport. Football is often cruel, depositing stars on the cusp of middle age with no idea of what to do next. And if Ilicic doesn't take care of himself, the game sadly won't do it for him. We hope he enters next year a happier man, whether in or out of the sport. 7. Jean-Luigi Buffon Returning to help a former club is definitely noble, but Gigi Buffon might be taking gallantry too far this year. Arguably the greatest keeper of all time, the Italian is currently representing boyhood club Parma 30 years after he first joined them as a 13-year-old. The World Cup winner swapping the glamour of the top flight for a spot in Serie B, where he previously played for Juventus after the Calciopoli scandal. Unlike Juve back then, Parma aren't threatening promotion, currently languishing in 12th in the second flight. And while Buffon is himself being good, with the 4th best save percentage in the division, 8 clean sheets in 26 games, and 3 penalties saved out of the 7 he's faced, it feels more like desperation to stay in the sport than genuine belief in the sporting project, despite the presence of former Fiorentina coach Giuseppe Lascini and Franco Vasquez leading the line. With a contract until 2024, when he'll be 46, Buffon seems certain to break Ike Casillas' record of 439 career clean sheets. Perhaps once he's done that, he'll consider a new career on the sofa. 6. Olivier Giroud A Champions League and World Cup winner, Olivier Giroud is about as decorated as a middling striker could ever hope to be. And at 35, he looks set to add another trophy to his cabinet, leading the Milan line as the Rosinari compete for a first Scudetto in over a decade. The Frenchman has been a regular, racking up 1,800 league minutes, his most since 2015-16. But despite tons of game time, he's less effective than 40-year-old Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who's played half as much but has 10 goal involvements to Giroud's 12 and equals him if you take out penalties. Though Giroud presses more, Zlatan is better with the ball, 
getting eight touches in the box per game to Drew six, making two chances to one, receiving 11 progressive passes to six, and even running forward four times as much as the former Chelsea striker. Even Giroud's back to goal player is poor, miscontrolling the ball more than anyone in the squad, and losing possession this way nearly three times a game. Given that Benzema is back in the France squad, Giroud is surely set to lose his spots for both club and country this year. If he picks up a Serie A medal, the dignified move might be to call it a day. 5. Franck Ribéry Did you know that Franck Ribéry was still playing? The 39-year-old Champions League winner and nine-time German champion with Bayern Munich is now with Italian minnow Salernitana. And while we can understand the appeal of life on the Campanian coast, the club is just two points outside the drop zone at the time of writing, and no one wants to see Ribéry's career end in the Italian second division. We do admire Ribéry's love of the game, but his strike partner is now Sheffield United loanee Lys Mousset, and the wide man is understandably diminished from his former greatness. Though he can still create with three assists this season and two key passes a match, he's taking an all-time low 0.7 shots per 90 losing the ball nearly eight times a game, and is dribbling a slid to 1.7 successful take-ons each appearance. A figure that sounds good until you remember that he used to beat his man nearly seven times per match under Pep Guardiola. With absolutely nothing left to prove after 22 years in senior football, Ribéry has earned his retirement. Time to swap shin pads for spaghetti. 4. Carlos Baca Carlos Baca's rise into European football is a story that doesn't come around too often. From working as a bus driver's assistant at 20, the Colombian striker became a two-time Europa League champion by 29, scoring the winner in the 2015 edition as he emerged as one of the continent's deadliest hitmen. But now at the grand old age of 35, it seems like he is entering the final chapter of his playing career. After scoring double digits every season in all competitions from 2012 to 2019, Bach has been found wanting for goals and minutes as he enters his mid-30s. Currently at Granada who are fighting for survival in La Liga, he hasn't been the reliable veteran option that Robert Moreno and Eita Carranco would have hoped for when they signed him for free at the start of the season. A total of zero goals and one assist in 17 appearances off the bench has led him to become a last-minute throw of the dice, with his last start coming in October of last year. It's a quiet end to what has been an explosive career, and for a man who's cost a total of 45 million euros in his time in football, Maybe a season where you have more yellow cards than goal involvements is a good time to hang up your boots. 3. Diego Godin Remember when Diego Godin was one of the world's best defenders? The Uruguayan age 36 is now back in South America, joining Atletico Mineiro in January after two and a half seasons in Italy. With the aim of once again playing in the Copa Libertadores, his first time in the tournament in 15 years. We're not sure what'll add to Monero. After all, the team were Brazilian champions in 2021, but his record in Serie A was underwhelming. His one year with Inter was the club's worst defensive campaign in their last five, while with Cagliari he avoided relegation by four points in his first season and left them in 19th in his second. Exiting Sardinia at the halfway point with a record of two goals conceded per game, only for the team to rebound without him lifting themselves out of the drop zone for the first time in 20 weeks. While other great defenders like Chiellini and Silva continue to shine at an advanced age, Godin's powers have well and truly deserted him. 2. Gareth Bale While Ribéry and Ramos clearly want to continue playing, Gareth Bale seems like he can't wait to hang up his boots. Though the forward obviously still has it, as he proved with 13 goals and assists in 10 starts for Tottenham last season, he remains unwanted at Real Madrid despite the return of Carlo Ancelotti, currently on track for his fewest minutes ever in a league campaign with just 283 at the time of writing. Netting just one goal in that time, Bale has scored more for country than club this year. And though we wouldn't be surprised if he capped the season with a Champions League final surprise, once again his body is letting him down, with eight separate injuries already this campaign. More importantly, he's miserable at Madrid and already announced he's leaving this summer. And why shouldn't he? After all, he's won three titles and four Champions Leagues in Spain, delivered 173 goal involvements in 258 appearances, and Marco recently estimated his net worth at 131 million euros, enough to buy lifetime membership to his favourite golf course. With Wales facing a crucial playoff in June, Bale could leave Spain and end his career by returning his country to the World Cup for the first time since 1958. The timing couldn't be better. 1. Fernandinho Football is no place for old men. This season, just 21 outfielders over the age of 36 are featured in Europe's top leagues, and of those, only three are in the Prem. Ronaldo, Thiago Silva and Fernandinho. But while the United and Chelsea men are still cutting it, the Man City club captain is way off the pace. It's due to leave the Etihad when his deal expires this summer. Frankly, it's a miracle he's lasted so long, having joined the club in 2013 when he was already 28 and since playing nearly 400 times for the citizens. In that time, he's lifted 12 domestic trophies and could win a fifth title this term, but he can no longer execute the demanding role of a central midfielder. 
his defensive actions, forward passes and forward runs all dropping dramatically, while he now wins just 21% of the tackles he attempts, down from 57% and a sign of dwindling athleticism. City are keen to keep him in Manchester, offering him a staff role once his playing days are done, and that seems a better use of the Brazilian's time than a last hurrah in the mid-table. Why not go out on top? At the club, he helped turn into a giant. So guys, that was 10 players who need to retire in 2022. Did I miss anyone out? And did you think any of these entries were a little harsh? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to Euro Football Daily for more great European content. And I'll catch you next time.